Hey Royal Simmers, Lazy Neef has done it again, bringing us another fantastic addition to the royalty mod. This time it's all about glitz, glamour, and grand balls, and I can't wait to show you what this new update has in store for us, so let's dive right into it. The Royalty Mod 3.1 Grand Balls update is here and it's packed with features that will make your royal gatherings more sophisticated and memorable than ever. With this update, you can now host a variety of themed balls. Your sims can socialize, dance, and enjoy luxurious champagne in these lavish settings. And before we continue, it is important to note that you'll need the Ballroom Dancing Mod by Mercury Foam to get these smooth dancing animations for your sims. So make sure you download that as well. There's a link to it in the Patreon post. So let's talk about key features and highlights. So there's a new event type. As I mentioned, you can host theme balls like classic ballroom, mysterious masquerade, or a cozy winter ball. Social interactions, you can keep it classy with formalities, turn up the romance, or stir up some drama with new interactions. Custom champagne tray, serve luxurious champagne to elevate the evening, giving Sims a special buff. Now let's jump into the game and I'll show you how to get started with this new update. So first you're going to plan the ball using the new options in the event planner. You can see we've got choices like classic ball, masquerade ball, or winter themed ball. So let's go with the classic ball for this demonstration. So after you've invited your Sims to the ball and you can also hire a pianist or violinist, that is optional. Don't forget to place the LNRM ballroom ID so your guests know where to go and don't end up dancing in random places. You can find this in build by mode just by searching. We are hosting this at the Henford Palace for my Royal Family Series so I will add this to the ballroom. So as soon as you start your event, you'll get this pop-up that says grand balls. When hosting a grand ball, there are a few things you need to to remember. To move to the next stage, from introductions to dancing and dancing to winding down, remember to click the interaction on your host sim, which can be found under the Balls Pie menu. To find a sim to dance with, click on your active sim and navigate to the Balls Pie menu. Here you can find an interaction that will let you pick whoever you want to dance with. To be introduced and introduce specific sims, make sure you have the LNRM Grand Entrance decal placed. You can click on the object to be introduced. There are a plethora of new ball-themed interactions under the new pie menu. Have a memorable night. And then I want to check out this champagne, this new champagne. So it is under LNRM Champagne Tray. So let's try this out. Here it is, I love the gold. It looks like it comes with different swatches as, oh, it looks like the tea set, I love that. Okay, so if we click on it here, we can restock tray for 500 simoleons. All right, so now it is restocked and we can have Caspian take a drink. I'll have Alice May take a drink. This is going to be so fun to do during gameplay at events. And then it says they're supposed to get a special buff. So the special buff, it says, Bubbly bliss from drinking champagne, the taste of luxury. Sipping on this expensive champagne has filled Caspian with a sense of elegance and joy. Everything feels just a little bit more glamorous. And it looks like Kellen here, he's taking a sip as well. So they guests just seem to help themselves. So you can have a bunch of these trays around your ballroom. It would be fun to have like butlers serving these or something like that too. I know there's deco sim butlers. So you can see how easily we can manage the flow of events. If you want to change it from greeting people, you can greet some people. So we have a few greetings here that you can see. I'm going to have a Queen Alice May greet her uncle. And then there are also some dramatic, sort of rude interactions you can do, which is also a lot of fun. I'm really excited to use this in my Royal Family series and stir up some drama in there. And when you're ready, you can click on the host and go to the ball pie menu, and you can say that you are ready for dancing. So you're gonna have the host click on that, and then your Sims will start dancing. Oh, it looks like Prince Jabari is dancing with his sister-in-law, Princess Bellatrix. It's very sweet. So if you want your active sim to dance with another sim, you can click on that sim and go to ball. And I'm going to have Alice May and Caspian do the Viennese waltz. So you can see they're starting that now. 
And if you want to see other coverage or more in-depth coverage, Lazy Neath has also created a first look video. And so I will link that in the video description. Now it does look like with the royalty mod, Grand Balls mod, um, the only two options for the ball is Vietnamese Waltz and Slow Dance together with. However, with Mercury's foam ball, Mercury Foam's ballroom dancing mod, I think you have more depending on what your skill level is. So this part comes with Mercury Foam's ballroom dancing mod. If you click on the dance floor, then you can go to couples dance and you have an array of dancing you can do. There's a tango. I don't even think I've seen some of these. Knave of hearts. Oh my gosh, wait. This might be good for a future thing in my royal family series. <gasps> Can't help falling in love. Okay, so it looks like we have a bunch of options. You guys can definitely try this out in your game. This will be a lot of fun to try. There's so many options too. I absolutely love that. And then as mentioned in the royalty mod in the instructions before, you can have your host wind down the events when guests are like, you know, it's time to go. Or are they about to do one of these? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're dancing. Oh, I love this. Cedric, please. Your sister is trying to have a serious dancing moment. <laughs> I love the guests are just kind of all over them up in their face. This is hilarious. Okay, well, this is lovely and so sweet. But yes, when you are ready, you can go to ball, click on the host, go to ball, and then go to time to wind down the event. And then this is when all your guests would kind of start to say goodbye and such. They're dancing through each other right now. That is fine. Also remember, mods are only available for PC and Mac users. I'll also link my video to the original royalty mod overview. There's a lot at this point. There's been a lot of expansions and updates to it. So I will link those videos in the description below. And then there are other things you guys saw, some of the interactions, you're seeing the beautiful dancing and these new interactions like formalities and flirtation fit perfectly with the setting. So definitely make sure to download this. I highly recommend. Again, there's a champagne option that your Sims can drink. So I'm excited to try that in my Royal Family series. And make sure to download and read the instructions correctly for this update and download everything that you need. Again, you will need the ballroom dancing mod by Mercury Foam. Highly recommend this mod. Lazy Neve says to tag him on Twitter, Tumblr, or Discord with your stories and screenshots. They love to see what kind of drama and fun your Sims get into. If this video is helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you want to check out my Royal Family series, you can do so with the link that I recommend starting with in the video description. We're just now starting season three. It's a lot of fun. Definitely come join us for all the Royal drama and tea. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.